play. I want to play. Can it think we're not playing? We're fighting for our lives. I want to play. I want to play. Oh, all right. Are you ready, kids? I I dance tube. I can't hear you. I I dance tube. Oh, I really hope I don't get a copyright strike. Anyway, guys, welcome back to dancetube.tv. And on today's episode, I've got my full review of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. This game's available on iOS and Android. It's eight ninety nine US. In the App Store right now. Prices will vary depending on where you're accessing the App Store. But this is my like first time ever playing the game, so I never played the original or the remastered, and now we've got the remastered port on iOS and Android devices. This is my first time playing it. It's my true first experience with the app. I've sunk in hours now into this game, and honestly guys, it's a lot of fun. Really, like I can see why people love this game. I can see why it's a cult classic. It's the true essence of a platformer. It's something that is progressive, so you can see where you're going, and it feels like you're getting these new abilities and new understandings, and you're starting to really conceptualize how the mechanics unfold and how everything runs. So that is really satisfying, because there's clear progression, and it's challenging, but it's not so challenging that you're getting frustrated all the time. Like I feel like I know what I'm doing, I know where I'm going, and if I lose to a boss, or if I lose in a certain area, I know what I did wrong. It's the pure progressive experience of a platformer where you don't want to put the controller down because you know how to keep playing, you know how to get through that zone, through that area. There's so many areas to explore. And I mentioned before controller, so I believe this does have controller support from my knowledge, but this was my true experience on a touchscreen. So it was playing on my iPhone and on my iPad, and what it actually feels like playing on a touchscreen device with no controller. Is this a good portable game to pick up? You know, it's a fair bit of money. So, you get to play as Spongebob, Patrick, and Sandy. When it comes down to the control system. Now, I found for the most part it was fun. It was great. I had no major, major issues. But I had a few little issues that started kind of adding up and annoying me a little bit. So firstly, like using a touchscreen, yes it's responsive. But the amount of times that you would touch the virtual joystick and it would either move the character the wrong way or the camera would go out of whack because you'd accidentally touch the screen above the actual joystick. And that was kind of the biggest issue for me. Most of the time I had no issues with it, but I just had a few issues with, firstly, the camera angles. They would kind of go out of whack a few times in the game for me. And also just using a touchscreen has never been the most optimal, optimized, enjoyable way to play a game. Like, in my opinion, it's a lot better to play with a controller. but. In terms of a touchscreen game, it does a really good job because it's not overly complicated. Like, yeah, there's some complex kind of platforming in the game, but once you know what you're doing, it's actually quite easy to play on a touchscreen. So they were just my few issues, which I seem to have with a lot of apps. You know, like if you're purely playing it as a touchscreen game, it's definitely not going to be the same experience as a controller. So occasionally I would notice the cameras would be a bit weird, the camera angle would get a little odd, out of whack, and occasionally the virtual joystick would just play up very, like, very minimal issues but it would happen and that was the thing that i definitely noticed as a recurring theme when it came to the controller layout now when it comes to the graphics and the overall performance of the game i think the graphics actually hold up really nicely in 2021 you know like it still holds up as a pretty game the graphics hold up nicely and the visuals are still really crisp and they pop so i don't think there's any issues with the graphics in terms of the performance for the most part it was fine so i noticed that Short gaming sessions would be completely fine. I could jump on, play for a bit, and save the game. That was fine, or just close the game, whatever. It was fine in those kind of situations. But if you want to sit down and slog out like an hour or over an hour, it starts to get really hot. Now, I found that my iPad and my iPhone both had this issue. Now, I've got the iPhone XS Max and the latest iPad Air, so that's kind of just context of how it performs on those devices. If you have a later device, it might perform a little better. If you have an older device, it might be even worse. But I just noticed that those long gaming sessions, it didn't really hold up too well. Frame rates would drop, the device would get really hot, and at times the game was completely unplayable. So I would recommend playing it in short bursts, not slogging out hours on the game, but I guess because it's a mobile game, it's probably not intended to be played for an extended period of time. It's more designed to just jump in, play for a bit, and then bounce out. And in that kind of situation, it's great. 
When it comes to the gameplay, I think that's where Battle for Bikini Bottom really does stand out. It's such a clear platformer, like you know the progression, you know where you're going, and it's clear what's happening when you're learning new things, and as you start to get used to the mechanics and the new characters. Like, it's very clear what they're trying to do, and the progression, and where you're trying to go as a character. I really love that, like, there's no questioning it, you just know exactly what's happening. It almost becomes like a flow-like state, where you just know where to go next, or it just naturally flows through the world, and it's really satisfying. It's one of those games you don't want to put down. And you can play as Spongebob, Patrick, and Sandy. And I love the nuances of each character. Like, they're all very fun and different to play as. I do love the versatility of Sandy, and I think she's my favorite character, just in terms of her mechanics and how she actually flows through the levels. She's a lot of fun to play as. But SpongeBob and Patrick have their own vibe as well, and they're also a lot of fun to play with. So I think, overall, I love how you get to play as those three characters, you get to experience the true Spongebob world and you interact with some classic characters that you will remember from the show. I love that. It just feels like such a Spongebob experience and that's what they've nailed perfectly. You kind of just want to keep playing. It's one of those games where you're like, oh, what's coming next? And oh, how can I do this now? Or where's this new area going to be? Or how can I get up there? So many questions and so much fun to be had. And I think, you know, you really just want to sit there and keep playing. You don't want to put it down, but in terms of gameplay, like, you kind of have to put it down because it gets really hot. Like, the devices I've played on, they get really hot. The frame rates start to drop when too much is going on. And then it doesn't really become a playable experience then, which is really disappointing at that point. But I think, like I mentioned, if you play it in short bursts, then it's really enjoyable. And you get the full experience out of the game, just sitting down and playing 20 minutes and then doing something else, coming back later on. I think that's the best way to play it. And when it's working and flowing, it just works beautifully. I really love Battle for Bikini Bottom. When it comes to the developers, I think they've put a lot of effort into this, and there's a lot of aftermarket care that's gone into it. They've been improving the game, uh, removing the bugs, fixing it, just improving the overall performance, and they've worked heavily on the actual autosave feature and the saving feature within the game. That's such a common thing with games where it just doesn't save, or the app crashes, or, you know, you go to another app and then the cache just dies and then you don't have that game anymore running or whatever. We know what, what happens with our phones. There are so many phone problems that happen and I'm sure you have an idea of what I'm saying here. So in that situation, they've actually improved the auto-saving feature and how the game actually operates when you leave it. So I haven't had any issues. I had a few early on where it would like not save a tiny bit of progress, but it was fine for the most part. But now it's really up to date. Like it's saving throughout the game, it does a great job when the app crashes or when you go to a different app. Like that experience, that true portable experience is actually really phenomenal. And they've definitely improved on that after it's been released. So there's a lot of aftermarket care going in. I'd love to know in the comments below though guys, have you got Battle for Bikini Bottom? How does it run on some of the older devices? How does it stack up to the original? Let me know in the comments below. Let's start a conversation because I really love these premium games coming to the App Store and the Play Store. It's phenomenal to see and I think SpongeBob SquarePants is one of my favorite mobile games to be ported uh, to iOS and Android. It's honestly remarkable. I mentioned some of the negatives in there but they definitely do not outweigh how much fun I'm having with this app and I cannot wait to continue playing it. It's just such a fun experience and it's a lot of fun. When it's running smooth, you just can't stop smiling, especially if you love the SpongeBob universe. Such a phenomenal game, guys. So anyway, that's the end of my review. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's start a conversation. Let's keep this going. I really love this game. Can't wait to see more premium games coming out. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing now. Also, I'm like recording in a wardrobe, so I hope the audio quality is better this time, guys. Let me know if you notice an improvement in audio. Uh, also, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see on the channel in the future. I'm open to new ideas, different discoveries, <laughs> new experiences. I'm going a little crazy. It's very hot in this wardrobe. Anyway, chat to you guys in the next one. Love you all, and peace out.